Hi guys. Okay. Uh, I have a problem. Uh, once I got a new uh, AC nine hundred uh, TP Link uh, dual band uh, wireless router. Okay. And actually, I have a pair of the the home pack. Uh, the model is the the two eight one. WPA, okay. Uh, also from the TP link. Um, but unfortunately, I I forget uh, the passwords of this TP link. I want to reset the the Wi-Fi password, okay. So um, I use the pin to pass the hole uh, for ten seconds at the menu say, but uh, doesn't work. And then I see and other people say that uh, using the the rules for the 30 30 30 rules okay that means um, you pass use a pin to to power on the uh, TC link uh, home pack and then uh, use the pin to hold it for the 30 second and then uh, switch it off for another 50 seconds now, but you still need to um, use the pin to pass the button, okay? Pass the small hole here, okay? And, and then you switch it on back, but uh, you keep to pass the button. So, but I still doesn't work, okay? So uh, the, the problem is when I open the, the browser, I, I just uh, using the say the TP link Wi-Fi dot net okay they just connect to this uh, for the AC line hundred okay not the home pack actually I have already using the Wi-Fi to connect the home pack Wi-Fi so now I am in the room to using this and um, I just say uh, admin for the default password admin admin I tried so many times okay and the router lock just take a, a good cooldown period for two hours and then I try again and doesn't work okay but finally I find a way to doing, doing this okay so I just want to share with you now this is not that difficult okay so now now I using the window 10 if you using the window 7 I think the same manner. you just open the control panel okay you just type at bar control panel and take on the control panel now now make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi of the home park okay the home park now is the my one is a T, the default one is a TP link EBBETX, okay? For you, maybe another one, okay? So then I just go down to screw it down in the control panel and um, let's Now because I just changed the main okay this one level and sharing center level and sharing center click on it now you can see I connect to this okay so and then you click on the internet here okay here we show you the screen of the Wi-Fi that status okay you take on the properties and you can find here have a TP TCP IP version 4 you select this one okay and take the property now TCP IP version 4 okay and for the protocol okay and then you take on the property now for my case, I using the uh, to call to 
get the IP address automatically, so you just change it to the foreign IP address. Okay, for my case, I will type 192.168.1 and then 2. Okay, now because of for the for the 281, okay, this one. 281. Okay, uh, they will have some fo some sort of information at the bottom of this router. Okay, here will say the default um, IP address will be the one one nine two one six eight one one. Okay. Okay, so. I go back here, so I just type my IPC will be 2, okay, make sure they are different, okay, now, in case your router runs will, will be 0, 1, okay, um, the default gateway that means will be the router, your, the IP address of your router, okay, so, now, because my case is 1, 1, okay, if your case is zero one, okay, so you just change these values to two, okay. Now, but for my case is one, one, okay, so you change your IP will be the one nine two one six six one two, okay. Then take okay. Close all the window. Close it. Okay, so I open another thing and so you, and uh, I will say one. Night two now you can see I now I connect to the the router okay okay so I log just log in Now you can see uh, you using the default admin and admin and the password and the user ID. Okay, so now you can see I can connect to the the uh, WPA two eight one router. Okay, then I can change the name of here. Okay, so I can. Set up uh, the set up the Wi-Fi wireless security. Okay, and, uh, okay. Thank you for your watching. Hope uh, this video can solve your problem.